HM Treasury figures suggest that transport capital expenditure for 2014-15 in the West Midlands was £926 million. This is just 24% of what London get. What could a mayor do to achieve a level playing field for our region when it comes to transport expenditure? So, this is an absolutely central question. And it's, it is about transport, but it's not just about transport. It's about all public expenditure. According to the Barnet formula, 40 years ago, public expenditure per head in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and London is more than £10,000. In some cases, a lot more than £10,000. In England as a whole, it's 8816 And in the West Midlands, it's even less than that. So we pay in the same and we get getting on for 20% less back in public expenditure from the government. That is the fundamental thing that needs to change. That's how we get to fix our transport system and the rest of our public realm and our region. That's why we need to stand up to the government, take back control from the government of our funding for our region, a fair share of the national pie for the West Midlands. With added disruption going on with the M6 and the M5 and HS2, how could a mayor help to alleviate this? So, the most immediate and obvious thing we do is get the government to nationalise the M6 toll. It's for sale, they could buy it for a billion, and I'm talking about them buying it at no cost to West Midlands taxpayers, and it would, if they made it free, significantly take pressure off our motorways and roads inside the region. Uh, demand for the M6 toll is price elastic. The price elasticity is about 0.4. So if you make it free, traffic will go off our roads onto it. That is a fact. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That is the most immediate and obvious thing we can do. Other measures we can take, tackling the pinch points that we know about across the region, Junction 10 M6 for instance is an obvious one. We need a, a, a single electronically uh, integrated control room across all modes for the whole region and beyond so that we can actually plan the system, properly, properly sequence the traffic lights across boroughs and obviously we need to radically improve and extend our public transport system. I'm committing to doubling the tram network uh, throughout the black country from Birmingham across to the airport and HS2 in the east um, and improve our, our bus and train offering as well. Get people off the roads onto public transport that they actually want to use. As a mayor, how would you plan to tackle skill shortages? First and most obviously, apprenticeships. I'm already committed to 8,000 new apprenticeships alongside the £8 billion of infrastructure spend that's coming in. Um, I've <coughs> committed to supporting and getting onto the books the extraordinary new developments in Dudley College with their technical university partnership, a, a new radical way of working in which FE colleges partner with the university to deliver higher level apprenticeships uh, for manufacturing and engineering. Absolutely groundbreaking, world leading stuff here in the black country which we can replicate and scale across the region. Ultimately to get any of this done we need to get back control of our own skill system. Uh, we need real control of the, of the skill system, not just adult skills but the whole skills and education system here in, in the West Midlands because if it continues to be run by London it will continue to be done badly. What specific action could a mayor take to ensure young people can access funded training needed for skills development across the combined authority? Well the, the first and mo most urgent action is that we have to fight and overturn the Tory London government's ridiculous decision that no Birmingham College and only three colleges out of 16 in the whole West Midlands combined authority region will be able to deliver apprenticeships. No young people are going to be able to access funded apprenticeships if none of our colleges are going to be able to deliver them. Ridiculous decision by the government which has to be overturned and which I will fight to get overturned. A specific policy of mine which is more micro but has the same effect, I'm saying free bus and tram travel for all 16 to 19 year olds in further education. If they can afford to get to college they're more likely to be able to access that, uh, <coughs> that provision. And finally, the, the funding for skills in the West Midlands currently is all held in London. The, the funding for 19 plus skills only has theoretically been devolved but in practice it hasn't. And while we can't access that funding here in the West Midlands, while it's all locked up in London, 
our young people will never be able to access it. We have to have control of our own skill system so that we can run it better by running it ourselves.